All right, uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel again. I know it's been a while. I uploaded a voiceover video and show you guys uh, the entire process of stripping up the car and whatnot. But uh, I've been really busy recently because the MCO and most of my customers are, you know, not using their car and they decided to bombard me during the, you know, MCO period. So anyways, um, I have a Volkswagen uh, Vento here. Okay, we're going to up upgrade the sound system for this car and also we're going to soundproof this uh, car la, basically with uh, doors and floors, you know, the usual stuff. But uh, it's a little trick here. Okay, uh, we are using a good equipment, uh, high quality speakers and amplifier. Okay, uh, not really an SQ level kind of uh, installation, but you know, something basic installation, some basic uh, speaker setups and you know, the customer still using the um, uh, standard head unit from Volkswagen. Okay, so I decided to upgrade the speakers to Infinity Kappa series. Okay, this is uh, the flagship series for Infinity. And at the same time, you know, uh, you can hear the demo of the speakers. Uh, I mean, I have already uploaded the sound test for the Kappa series. So you can go and check that out okay it's in the next video la. you can just scroll through my page and see it. okay so the plan for this car is approximately three days because i'm doing alone so i need a lot of time and you guys know i don't like to rush and complete the job half pass and you know all that stuff la. okay i like to make sure the the quality that i install and you know everything goes well according to plan i don't like to rush and you know i i told the customer and he was he was like okay i'm still since i'm working from home and he said the car is yours lah just take uh, the amount of time you need and whatnot okay so yeah let's uh, go into this video i will show you guys how to remove the doors in the volkswagen bento okay so make sure again use your prying tool you have to pry out the uh, the panel over there Okay, in this Vento, they are using Tox, uh, Tox bolt. Okay, so you have to get a Tox bit. It's a M16, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, pretty simple. Three screws. Pull it from the side and work your way, work your way up, lah. Okay, make sure you don't lose any of the screw because you can't get it in a hardware shop. <laughs> okay, so be very cautious about that. Then once you strip off the the door cut, the door panel you'll see this step here so all you have to do is just lever it out and pull it out and there you go that's about it and there's one connected to the power window module very simple very very straightforward okay so now let's move on to the front door basically it's the same okay it's very similar to the rear door okay so again try to slowly pry it out because the front one is a little sensitive and it's slightly thinner compared to the uh, rear doors okay and uh, immediately you'll be greeted with uh, this uh, window knob okay the rear i'm sorry the side mirror control knob lah. okay that one again uh the screw locations are the same the exact same as the rear doors okay slowly work your way out okay and there's one underneath the speaker okay don't th this is this is uh, a real eye opener for everyone i would say because once you see like the visible screws and you just remove that and immediately you go and pry out the door you shouldn't be doing that in reality okay you, you really have to make sure there's no screws or any bolts that you have missed if not once you pull the door cut out you are going to break the door panels okay so you know, just make sure you keep that in mind okay all right so what am i looking at um yeah i think that's about it all right so now i'm trying to work my way out lah. there's one the the, the the bolt is stuck and yeah that's that's one thing make sure you 
remove all the bolt and keep it in a safe uh, place lah. So when you reinstall back, you don't have any missing screws and you know all that nasty stuff lah, basically. Okay. So okay, we are moving on to the next uh, crucial step, which is soundproofing the doors. Okay, so I, I, in my opinion, this is like the crucial step. Okay, it's sound properly soundproofing the door because when you upgrade a good powerful speaker, you don't want any any rattle or resonance coming through the door. Okay, so I would emphasize on that and make sure you clean the entire door surface, which I never include in this video because. You know, if you've been following me for some time, you already know how I operate. Okay, so we are using the STP Gold 2.3 millimeter stick one premium uh, soundproofing material. Okay, so there, you, that's about it. That's the door soundproofing. Uh, I will include the pictures at the end of this video, the entire process, meaning from the start to scratch. If you don't see anything in this video, it will be uh, in the picture section, lah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a little bitch to do this door, but it was fun. Trust me, it was really fun. Okay, so now uh, I'm trying to mount the speaker holes uh, for this particular door. Okay, I'm using an um, aftermarket uh, Volkswagen speaker bracket, so I don't have to drill anything. Okay, in this car I didn't drill anything. I did not cut any of the manufacturing wiring. Okay, so I told the customer. Okay. And if you see me drill that, that is just to get a little access. But I did not puncture through the entire uh, metal surface. Okay, so uh, there you go. We have tightened the um, speaker bracket. And if I'm not mistaken, I also soundproof the entire bracket as well. There, there you go. As you can see, uh, this this process makes a lot of difference in your speakers. Okay, in a way that it becomes uh, structurally strong okay it, it, it becomes a part of your door structure because everything is well isolated and insulated at the same time okay so in the inner layer the outer layer as much as you can if you are doing this for a DIY project hey, why not if you have the extra materials I, I would recommend doing this it really makes a lot of difference in your sound quality from the speakers okay so nice and clean all right so now uh the seats okay the seats are not exactly rocket science two bolts at the back uh two bolts at the front okay luckily it's not a, a power seat so it's going to be light so you can remove it one person lah. okay so that's the mounting hole okay it's an m40 m40 or m9 sorry it's an m9 um i don't know is this a tox yeah I, I believe it's a tox oh it's not it's a triple spline yeah it's a triple spline okay all right now you can see okay we have removed the entire carpet okay this is to soundproof the entire floor okay i like to start by cleaning with i mean vacuuming the entire floor first okay make sure every inch of dust has been removed and then after i vacuum I will apply isopropyl alcohol or mineral spirit or any any cleaning agent but as long as it's not MEK or acetone or any anything crazy don't don't do that you are going to rip off the clear coat okay isopropyl alcohol is my go-to uh, cleaning substance okay and then I will just uh, run with a clean rug and clean it off and then I will re-vacuum again it just in case if I miss anything because sometimes when you how to say when you clean with chemicals it will remove certain debris that was uh, sticked with gunk you know what I mean so yeah you, you really have to make sure about that okay now moving on we are soundproofing the floor so for the floors, as usual, take your ruler or measuring tape, measure properly and get a good decent metal roller and then roll with a metal roller because that will create a good bond between the structure and the soundproofing material. Don't don't buy this cheap Lazada or Shopee uh, plastic roller and expect good result. No, it's not going to work that way. 
Okay, so yeah, you guys. En- okay, so in this uh, particular clip, I'm going to show you the connecting harness for Volkswagen. Okay, so unlike um, uh, this, this is very common in Continental cars. Okay, they have this particular clip that goes into the male and female socket. So it's like a socket type. Okay, now we have a problem. We cannot uh, put the speaker wires in. Okay. As you can see, the, the holes are very small. So what I decided to do is, you know, make... Okay, there I, I can show you. Alright, so there you see the, the hole is ex- extremely small for the wires that I'm about to feed through the doors. Okay. So again, guys, uh, to do this step, okay, I highly recommend you to um, consider about your warranty. So because if you do this you are going to blow off your warranty so i spoke to this to the customer and he said bro just do whatever it is as long as my sound system is nice and everything i'm very happy and don't worry about the warranty because my car warranty has ended lah so i i was very hesitant to do this and i didn't have any other choice okay so initially my plan was to speed i mean uh, feed the wires from the amplifier through the head unit and power through the uh, car what is that um, original manufacturing wiring but I was thinking the wires are too small and the amplifier is very powerful and you know it's not a good scenario like the wire heats up and whatnot okay so what I did here I drill a slightly bigger hole okay and then I fish through the connector harness okay as you can see here so this is like the easiest step for me lah rather than just you know stripping some wires in the head unit and fixing it back and I was thinking like you know what I rather just spend a little more extra time here than spending at the center console which is a not counterproductive for me okay so I did this way and the customer was happy with it hey happy days all right so I did the same thing on the uh, is that a female yeah that is a female so I did I did I already did on the male side and now I'm doing it on the female side. Okay. Same exact thing, slightly deburring the hole. Just enough clearance to make sure the wire goes in easily. Okay? So yeah, if you have a BMW or Mercedes, Volkswagen, uh yeah, you name it, most of the German cars and even the new Honda Accord and the old Honda Accord they have the same connection type okay so yeah if you if you're planning to run new speaker wires this this is a good way okay you can do this fairly easy but you know you, you have to be really cautious lah you know you one small mistake <laughs> and you are going to screw up the entire harness so just keep that in mind okay Okay, so we have test fitted everything. Everything sits perfectly, and now it's time to put the wire in the grommet. Okay, so this is my favorite technique. I like to use a chopstick, a metal chopstick, and wrap the entire wire on the chopstick tightly. Okay, so when you pull through the grommet, it will not slip out. Okay, this is one of my technique that I like to use. Okay, as you can see, just like that, pull the wire a little bit, pull a little more slack. It's okay to pull a bit more wiring towards the speaker. It's all right if you have more, you can just cut it off. All right? Don't don't be too stingy with the wiring length. Okay, that's just to be you know just to be safe lah. All right. So and then after you you pull the wiring, I think it's time to prepare the uh, uh, speakers and installation of the speakers. All right. So as you can see here, I wrap the wa- excess wire with uh, Tessa tape. Okay, that is to give some weather protection to the wire. All right. So with our crazy climate in Malaysia, uh, rain hot, rain hot, the wires are going to deteriorate. Okay. So th- these are the steps that you can take to preserve the life of your wires, so it can go, you know, few years down the road. And also, I'm using an OFC wire, oxygen-free copper. So that will pretty much last 
<laughs> for decades all right so there you go i'm doing the end connection stripped off uh, the end connection and i also isolated the original wire at the side so the customer if he decide to sell off this car he just has to come back to me and i'll just put back the old speakers and happy days everything has been done all right now test fitting the speaker this is the infinity kappa two way set all right there you go end terminal done and connecting the speakers and boom that's it very straightforward all right so yeah guys that's about it for this car after 3 days and it was a huge success lah okay my first not mm, yeah my no no it's not my first continental um i don't know it's been uh 4 5 6 i don't know lah i can't really recall okay so these are the pictures that you'll see all right the post installation of the entire setup for this vento and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this series and <laughs> that's about it so be safe please wear your mask don't go out unnecessarily keep hating the government okay <laughs> so yeah that's about it and see you guys in the next video oh don't forget to subscribe and also like and if you love this video share it and if you want me to install a similar system like this for you don't don't hesitate the number is in the description box just click on the whatsapp and it will direct you to my whatsapp okay so yeah see you guys in the next video ஒரு 